Pretty cool pins posted to my door. What's inside the new Zanini box? Sort of one of those subscription boxes that I look forward to every single month. Small in size, but don't let the size fool you. Inside are some pretty cool looking pins. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the Zanini box, I'll put the link down below in the video description. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. Of course, one of the other things I look forward to is the fact that the Zanini box, you already know right away what it is before you even read the label. The familiar purple packaging that I hope they certainly don't change anytime soon is as soon as I look at it, I know exactly what I'm going to be getting inside. I don't know necessarily what pins I'm going to be getting, but I know what I am going to be in, in store for is an adventure. Let's start this adventure right now by getting our, ourselves a knife, and we're going to go ahead and cut the seal on the top. I'm hoping that there's no paper un actually underneath that. <laughs> of course there was. I'm just going to put that right there. We're not going to look at it just yet because that will be the spoilers. And I don't like spoiling what will be an adventure, like I said, delving into the box here or the bag to see what kind of pins that we got inside. The first one, I'm waiting for a drum roll. Producers are saying no, there's no budget for a drum roll. The first one we have is Harry Potter. Zanini Box down below is the, w is the website www.zaninibox.com and we've got ourselves a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. That's a pretty neat looking pin. Uh, Harry Potter, not quite maybe youthful, not quite an adult, sort of in between, middle Harry. Um, it, they, it, each one of the pins also what I do like about the pins and you'll see soon enough I wanted to kind of quickly go for a comparison realizing quickly this was the first pin that we were having a look at but each one of the pins are unique in shape as well they're not simply all just diamond shaped backgrounds for example you'll know what I'm talking about when we have a look at the next pin that's a bit of a segue and perfect segue to go then to the next pin the next one that we have is Flint one, if not my favorite, G.I. Joe of all time. I still remember getting G.I. Joe's Flint, uh, I believe for a birthday, it might have even been Christmas. And uh, that packaging still is something that brings me back to my youth. As soon as I see the packaging with Flint putting his one arm up and then sort of just awkwardly holding his shotgun with the other, boy, does it throw me back to my youth. I loved Flint. I think I had Flint and then I lost the figure... I was so devastated by that because, again, it was one of my... I think it might have even been one of my first G.I. Joes I ever had as a kid. going to see if I can... I think I still have that figure somewhere. I'm going to see if I can find it. But very reminiscent of the original package artwork, the blister package explosion artwork on the card. There's Flint right there. As you can see... Oh, there's now. We, we now have a segue. Uh, if you look at the two side by side, definitely very different shapes, very different types of pins as well. And that, again, really, that's what I like, the appeal of Zanini Box. Every time you pull out a pin, they're not following all the same trends, not all the same series, not all the same franchises. There's different pins from different things that you grew up with. Like, for example, Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I like the fact that they've kind of got a 3D element happening here where the staff is coming right at you. I feel like I'm watching the original Friday the 13th Part 3. Uh, very neat. I don't know if it's the original Splinter. Maybe perhaps it's like the 2003 Splinter. I like the back though. I like the circular kind of it looks almost like glass or the opening of the sewer perhaps. Maybe that's the opening of the sewer and Splinter is practicing training his ninjutsu in front of that. Nice looking pin though. Put that right there. Uh, I think we have two more in here. There's one. There's two. Grabbing the first one. The first one is Captain Marvel. Hmm, not a bad pin, not a great movie though. Far be it for me to let this spiral out of control into a discussion about Captain Marvel, but the movie was just okay. I certainly don't think it warranted getting a billion plus dollars in the theater, but it sort of was, and I've said this before, a train cart to a larger train. It was never really running on its own, so it had the momentum of all the films behind it and all the... Uh, or I guess all the films in front of it, and then all the subsequent films that would follow afterwards. So Captain Marvel, I think, just benefited from the fact of having so much working with it that I think it ended up being successful. The film itself was just okay. Brie Larson, not bad, but the film was just okay. Not a bad pin, though. I have to say, that's a neat-looking pin. 
And last but certainly not least, one last pin to go in this adventure of five pins. The last one we're going to have a look at is Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat. Kind of looks like Liu Kang, I guess, from Mortal Kombat 2 or possibly even 3. I feel like it's Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat 3. A staple for me going after school, sometimes in the afternoon in between classes. Uh, we would go to my friend's house and we would play Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 3. We must have done that for hours before what seemed likely as hours. I'm sure there was only like an hour or so before we had to go back to class. But boy, oh boy, I had some good times playing Mortal Kombat. And a pin like this certainly does bring me back. I'm looking at all the pins that we've gotten. There's Liu Kang, there's Captain Marvel, Harry Potter, G.I. Joe, Flint specifically, and Splinter. Of all the pins, I'm thinking for nostalgia reasons alone, I might say that Flint is probably my favorite, with a close second probably being Liu Kang. What is your favorite f favorite pin from the five that we had a look at? Let me know down below in the comment section. And now we can certainly move our focuses over to the actual card that came included with this. This is the Zanini, Zanini box for November 2019. Thank you for your subscription. Enjoy your box. Don't forget to tag and follow us on Instagram and Facebook, which I've already done. And then what it does is it shows you how the subscription breaks down. So basically you have up to five pins that you can get as the premium option. For every one less subscription box option that you go with, you get one less pin. So the standard would not have Flint, which would be disappointing to me, and would have four remaining pins. If you get the basic, you would lose the Captain Marvel and you would only get the Harry Potter, the Splinter, and the Liu Kang. So again, you can choose whether you want to get three pins, whether you want to get four pins, or like me, if you want to get yourself all five pins. Again, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the Zanini box, I'll put the link down below in the video description. Today we were having a look at the Zanini box for November 2019. If you are new to this channel or longtime viewers, why not? Make this the moment of change. We're coming near to the end of the year, and I know we're still a few months away from New Year's, but let the wrap-up of 2019 serve to be a bit of a reminder of things that perhaps you haven't done up to this point. If you haven't done up to this point, maybe you're watching and enjoying this content and haven't yet subscribed to this channel, it's okay. It's okay. You can hit the subscribe button right now. You can certainly turn the bell notification on as well. And as you always do, and again, thank you for that, by the way, you can stay tuned because there's going to be future videos coming onto this channel across the board on a regular basis. So certainly stay tuned because, as I said, there's going to be a whole lot of stuff coming your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.